An eyewitness news looking ahead now. The holiday weekend is almost here and law enforcement officials are pushing for a safe and sober Memorial Day weekend. State police and state transportation officials held a news conference today to discuss the alarming increase in traffic related deaths and what's being done to keep the roads safe this weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods has more. This weekend is the unofficial start to summer, but as you prepare for barbecues and fun with family and friends, local law enforcement has one request. Don't drink and drive. The Rhode Island State Police are partnering up with a number of organizations, including the Rhode Island Department of Transportation, to warn drivers about the dangers and consequences of drinking and driving this holiday weekend. The Rhode Island State Police and all local police, we practice zero tolerance for drunk and impaired drivers. When drivers, drivers are found to be impaired, we arrest them. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, an average of 36 fatalities occurred daily in the U.S. between 2001 and 2005 as a result of alcohol-impaired driving. And with statistics nearly doubling during the summer months, local and state law enforcement are preparing for a busy weekend. Unfortunately, we cannot arrest our way out of this problem. It takes a combination of education, strict laws, and support. Historically, Rhode Island has had some of the worst drunk driving statistics in the country, which is why RIDOT has invested $3 million this year alone in a 10-year plan that they say should significantly decrease drunk driving here in the Ocean State. This is a problem, and it is, and it's so preventable. preventable. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Again, they ask that everyone is responsible this holiday weekend. If you do decide to drink, you can call a taxi, an Uber, or another rideshare service. They also ask that you watch out for your loved ones. In the control room, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.